Hello everybody, Chris Rice Killateen here at PAX East 2022 with Toby. How are you doing today? I'm doing very fine, but I can't look forward to Sunday because then it's finally over. <laughs> uh, it's so exhausting. It's cool, but it's very exhausting. Yeah, it can be exhausting, <laughs> yes. And um, we are checking out the last Oric crew. Exactly, the last Ori crew, like Ori original crew, the last Ori crew. Okay, so tell us a little bit about the world of this game. So the last Uri crew takes place on Vardania, which is like this sci-fi medieval world. It's an alien planet and you wake up as one of the few humans. You don't know what you're doing there. You don't know why you exist, but you will be torn into a civil war where you have to choose sides and kind of decide the fate of the entire planet. You can either try to befriend everyone, which is pretty tough to be honest, or you can be angry, we, we be very aggressive towards everyone and everyone will hate you. That's really easy, like real life. Yes, and I know, and I noticed in the demo that we played that the decision that you make will ultimately affect like the storyline as well. Care to explain a little bit more? Absolutely. So whatever you do in the game, imagine it like this diamond thing, diamond shape. So there are several endings in the game, and whatever you do in the game, like which quest you are going, which dude you are killing, and so on, this will have a direct impact on the outcome of the game or the follow-up quests and the follow-up world. So today we played one area together, but we, we played it twice and we saw it from different perspectives. If we go with, side with the Nabaru, which is one of the factions, then we have to defend that area. It was a castle fortification thing and we had to defend it. But when we played with the Ratkin, other faction, then we are all of a sudden we are not the defenders anymore, but we were the attackers of that castle, right? So depending on who you side with and what you do, this will have an outcome of the entire world. There will be more bosses or less bosses. There will be the, the, the fortification will be on fire or will it, it will be still in sta uh, intact. So really action consequence and that is the entire game. Yes, and also in the demo, like you mentioned being like, so like a soul skull with um, co-op in it, correct? Exactly. In my opinion, the co-op is where the game shines most. So it has all those co-op elements where you, of course, you can revive each other, you can you share the same inventory, you can fight and hack and slash together. But there's also special elements in the game. We have, for example, weapons where, as an example, you can you can zap your friend. I can zap you. We did that together. We I zap you. We, it, it creates this this uh, link of of lightning and if we call if we catch anyone in between we zap them and if we coordinate and walk through the map like this together we can zap all those people and work together and be happy folks so i think it's very satisfying to play the game like that in co -op. but of course it has a big single player as well the co-op doesn't make the game easier per se it just gives another perspective to the game and right now there is uh, offline co-op like split screen but uh, on release there will be online co-op as well Okay, so we played like a few different classes in the game as well. Like how many classes would there be all together? So, so there's no class system per se. It's more like you have your stats and you can distribute them. Player one is the one who's always static. So while you're going through the game, you level up, you choose your attributes. But if I call in, there's this, the co-op works in a hop on hop off system. So if I call you in at level 10, for instance, I played the beginning myself, then I call my friend in, you, you will get the, you will get the same level as I do. And you can get all the skill points and can freely choose how to distribute them. So you can put everything in intelligence for, I play the uh, melee guy, you put everything in intelligence and then we can roam the world together. Then if you say, I'm fed up with intelligence, uh, I can kick you out of my game, re-invite you, and you can put all your points into strength, for instance, or whatever. So you as player two, you have the freedom to uh, adjust your play style, or your character actually, on, on at every save point, pretty much. Right, um, we were playing on the PC version. Um, will this game be released on any other platforms as well? Exactly, so we were playing on PC today and the game will release on PC, obviously, on PlayStation 4 and Xbox Series X. And the release date is not uh, final yet, but we are looking uh, into the end of this year of uh, 2022. Well, I'd like to thank you very much for your time. Really. It was a pleasure, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And you played really well, by the way. He's a, he's a pro Souls player, so thank you very much for carrying me through the uh, last story crew. Uh, no problem. <laughs> and keep it right here for more PAX East coverage.